Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm super pumped to make another video for you guys. Today's video is going to be a huge collective haul. I've been collecting this makeup for about a month now and I just want to show it to you guys. Before we get started, I want to quickly say subscribe and like this video. Also leave a comment down below of what you guys want to see next. And huge shout out to Makeup Known. She's an amazing YouTuber and she's getting started just like me. And I just want to say go check out her channel because it's amazing. Now let's get started. So I separated the makeup into different categories so it's easier for me to show you guys and easier for you guys to watch. So, so let's get started with the makeup wipes. So these are the Equate Beauty Wet Cleansing Towelettes. These are a travel pack and they have 15 towelettes in here. And I find that these sort of burn my skin. They work fine on like my face, they don't irritate my face, but on my eyelids when I try to remove my eye makeup, they sort of burn them. So I don't recommend these for removing eye makeup. Other than that, for foundation and powder and stuff, these work great. So that's the only makeup remover wipes that I have tried this month. So we're going to start it on to the lip product. So I purchased two of the Ma new Maybelline Color Jolts. So these are the Color Jolt Intense Lip Paint, and the first one is 10 Never Bare. It's a nice bright pink. And the other one is five stripped down and it's a nice nude brown i have tested these out on my lips i find that 10 never bare leaves a little bit of a streak on my lips but other than that if you just smooth it out it looks amazing and number five is amazing i love that nude brown color on my lips so i picked up two of the l'oreal pop balms these aren't relatively new they've been around for quite a while but i decided to pick up two of these so the first pop balm is in 440 electric pink it really looks orange on camera, but it's really not. It's a nice bright pink on my lips. So the next one is in 420 Bold Blush. And it's a nice rosy toned pink. I've been wearing these so much on my lips, and they're just beautiful colors, and I need more of them. So this is the Color Reach Balm in 418 Caring Coral. So th since this is a balm, it's really sheer, but it's a nice orange coral color. That is its swatch. It's a nice coral color. So I picked up one of the e.l.f. shimmer lip glosses in Believe. It's a nice bronzy shimmer gloss, and it's I haven't tested it out on my lips, but from me swatching it, I can see it is really sheer. But when you like first apply like a dot, so like. There is really pigmented and pretty. It's not as sticky as I was expecting it. And I really like this lip gloss. I mean, to put it on top of like matte lip sticks, it can look really good. So I picked up two of the Revlon Ultra HD lip lacquers. So the first one I picked up is in 550 Katrine, and it's a nice orange shade. And and the second one I picked and the second one I got is in 550 and it's an amber and it's a nice, has a hint of orange in it and it is like an amber color and I really like this one. My first thought on these when I first picked them up, I thought they were going to be so sheer, especially the orange shade, but when I swatched it, it's so pigmented. So the first shade is the orange shade and it's in Katrina and the uh, next to it is in amber and they're really pigmented. So next, I picked up one of the Maybelline Color Blur by Lip Studio Lipsticks. It's a nice matte lipstick, and I am in love with this. I paired it with the lip liner that I'm about to show you, and it's just amazing. This is in the shade 50. I like to mauve it, and oh my god, it's a nice mauve shade. I am in love with these, and I need more of these. I just recently got this, and that's all I've been wearing. So next, I picked up the Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Line in the shade 63 Eastern Snob. So this is the lip liner I was talking about, and it matches so perfectly with the color blur stick, and I like to mob it, and oh my gosh, it's just a perfect duo. So next I picked up one of the NYX Butter Glosses in Hermie Sue. I love these things, I have so many of them, but this shade was so hard to find, and I finally found it, and I love it. It's a nice pinky toned brown color, and it's amazing. So next I picked up one of the Maybelline Loaded Bold Lipsticks, and this is in the shade 840 Midnight Blue. And as you guessed it, it's a nice dark blue color. Next, I picked up one of the CoverGirl O oh Sugar Lip Treatments in the shade Jelly. I have the first three shades, and I love them, but I wanted a bit of tint to my lips, and this adds a beautiful tint to my lips, and it's the perfect tint. 
and it's really good for your lips because it has vitamins in it. So I picked up four of the Katie Cat Matte Lipsticks by CoverGirl. I have been loving these so much, you guys. So the first shade is a nice dark red and it's in Crimson Cat. The second one is a nice bright pink and it's in Pink Paws. Next one is a nice dark purple shade and it's in the shade Cosmo Kitty. And the last one is a nice sort of a brown toned mauve and it's in Kitty Purry. Okay, I know this is a lot of lip products and about half of this haul is lip products, but I'm just going to keep showing you the rest because there's not that much left. So I only picked up one MAC lipstick and it's in the shade Frost and this is a gel lipstick. So there it is right there. It's a nice gold with shimmer and it's glossy. So next I picked up, I believe, six or seven of these Essence Long Lasting Lipsticks. I've heard great things about these, and I want to try them out for myself. So I picked up two of the e.l.f. Moisturizing Lipsticks, and I've owned these before, and they're amazing. And I love these lipsticks. They're so moisturizing, and they're not patchy on my lips, and they're just amazing. So I got this shade, which is Party in the Buff, and then I got this shade, which is Pink minx so we're officially done with all the lip products i know this video had a lot of lip products but i just really needed some new lipsticks i mean i didn't really need them but <laughs> i really wanted some new lipsticks and a bunch came out recently so i decided to pick up a few of them so now we're going to move on to the eyes so i picked up three of the elf smudge pots and these aren't relatively new but i love these things so the first shade i got is in eight that's sweet and it's a nice white toned pink so the next one is popping party and it's a nice eggplant purple so the next one is a repurchase and it's in the shade brownie points and i love this color it's by far my favorite color so i got seven of the essence eyeshadows and i actually did a video on these it was my last video i'll have it linked down below i'm not really going to talk about these in this video because i did a whole separate video on them so these two eyeshadow palettes are Wet and Wild and they're the On Natural palettes. And as you can tell, I have used these so much. This is all I've been wearing on my eyes besides my e.l.f. smudge pots. And they're just amazing and I love the formula of these eyeshadows. And honestly, I wish they came out with more palettes in this collection because I would purchase all of them. So the first one is Nude Awakening. And this one's the Bare Necessities. And oh my gosh, I love this plum color. And I love all these shimmers and these taupe colors. And I like how they include a black and a white. And it's just by far my favorite drugstore palette currently. Let me know if you guys want me to do a swatching and review of these palettes. Because I will definitely do them because I love them that much. So just let me know down below. And yeah. So then this is a repurchase for me. This is the Wet n Wild Pro Line Felt Tip Eyeliner. And I love this thing. It's so pigmented. It's so black. If they had more colors in this form, in this formula, I would definitely buy them all. I definitely recommend this so much. It's my favorite eyeliner. I use this more than my Kat Von D liner. So I decided to purchase the Colossal Spider Effect Volume Express Waterproof Mascara by Maybelline. I find that it clumps my lashes a little bit, but I can like work with it and I can just quickly fix it. But the brush, you guys, it's like only half of the wand is a brush. And I thought it was so cool. And I love the idea for it. Okay, so I know basically everything in this video so far is drugstore. But I did purchase a few things that were sort of more on the expensive side. So this is the Lancome Foundation. And it's the one that oxidizes to your skin tone and has sunscreen in it, SPF 15. And I got it in the color Ivory. And I love this foundation. It's so natural on me and it basically covers up everything, but it sort of does not look like I have foundation on. It looks like it's very natural on my face and I love this foundation. It is sort of more on the expensive side, but definitely save up your money if you want to get a nice foundation because this is by far one of my favorite foundations that is more on the expensive side. So next I purchased a brand new Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline and I actually purchased this like a couple of weeks ago when I wasn't tan and now I'm like tan so this color is way too light for me in fact it was a little bit too light when I first bought it and I wasn't tan and I accidentally got the wrong shade but it's okay I'll just wait until winter time and I'll just go purchase another one but this is in the shade I believe 15 fair yeah and I love this concealer it's by far one of my favorite drugstore concealers so basically for like a month this is the only 
face powder that I have bought. This is the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder, and this is in clear. And, I mean, this is an amazing powder. I find that it's not totally clear. Like, so I quickly want to mention this. I got a Real Beauty Blender, and I'm sorry it's dirty, and I need a new one, so I decided to purchase one. But then I also got a Fake Beauty Blender, and I find that this is a, like, really cheap alternative to it, and it works. I mean, I definitely recommend the Beauty Blender over this one. This powder. I'll have this one linked down below, I don't remember the exact name of it, and as you can tell, it kind of ripped already, but I really like this sponge. I definitely recommend the Beauty Blender over it, but... Equal Tool brushes are by far my favorite drugstore brushes, and I just love them. They're so soft, and I find that they distribute product so good. So this is the Equal Tools powder brush. So this is the Wet n Wild Small Eyeshadow Brush, and I'm sorry it's dirty. I've been using this so much lately, and I love taking like my e.l.f. smudge pot and ink that sweet and just sort of dipping this product and creating like a little wing liner with it. It works so good, and just for eyeshadows on the lid, I love this brush. Then I purchased the e.l.f. Blending Brush, and this brush is amazing. I definitely recommend it to everybody. It's so like soft and it blends in product so good. So I'll have this link down below. Also, all the other products I just showed you. And finally, my last brush that I have purchased is the Crown Brush. And I'm not 100% sure what this brush is called. And I don't know if they still sell this. But I'll try to find a link for it. And it's just so soft. It's amazing for contouring and putting blush on and highlight. And it's just by far one of my favorite brushes for the face. So that was it for this video today. I just want to quickly say subscribe and remember to follow Makeup Known. She's an amazing YouTuber and I'll have her channel linked down below. Also subscribe to me and like this video and leave a comment down below if you and leave a comment down below what you guys want to see next so I know. And I hope you guys enjoy and follow my Instagram which it has changed. Now it is Makeup Addict 7717 instead of 16 so it's 17. But other than that, I hope you guys have an amazing day and be sure to like this video and subscribe as I said a thousand times in this video but I hope you guys have an amazing day and bye